what is up, sexy basic gamer here with a new series with hang on I gotta sneeze. Never mind I went away. Alright, so what's up sexy basic gamer here with a new series using the character you saw me face toasted tart yummy with and I'm going through New Game Plus for my first time with this character and I'm pretty scared. I've never been through New Game Plus before. There's already a ton of things I've never seen. As you can probably tell, I'm in the Forest of Fallen Giants right now. This series, there's something a bit special about it. And that is before doing any of the bosses, I'm going to do some sort of PvP and I have to win. This is similar to what you saw, what you may have seen on Sunlight Blade's channel. I have cracked red eye orbs and I've got a red sign soapstone I've got dried fingers I've got tokens of spite I'm good I'll be able and I've got dragon bros signs so some sort of PvP and I cannot complete the area until I win one so let's start with invading I've made a bit of corrections to the stats on this character to make it a bit better and I'll show you those at the end of the video. And I might finish the game with this character. I might not. I don't know. But I know I'm definitely going to go until I decide to stop, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm, I might even do like an all boss thing if you guys want me to do this all the way through like a full series of this I don't know I'm invading someone though alright reflex iconic he's been in a soldier's rest he hasn't killed the uh, pursuer yet unless he did then I, and I'm just stupid um let's see is he up here this is where most people go when they get invaded to my knowledge I saw numbers down there yeah he's down there Oh jeez. Okay, I'm glad there's no summons. He's got. I'm gonna assess his gear right now. He's got elite knight armor. Looks like I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really see. Uh, Murakumo. Hi. Uh, I can't tell his shield from here. All right, he wants to fight down there. Oh wow, flame swath right off the bat. All right, let's see what this guy's got. So I know he's got pyromancy. Ooh, he tried to parry me. Boom. Baked him out. Is he just not going to roll? Boom. This is similar to what you may have seen on Sunlight Blade's channel where he has to use a certain weapon through the area that you find in that area. And unfortunately, he didn't finish that series and I don't know if he's going to or not. So, I'm doing something similar to it because I was really looking forward to seeing that finished, but it never happened. That's alright though. Still a great channel. So now I have to go kill the last giant. I've already done a good chunk of this level. So and there are definitely some things that weren't in this on my first playthrough. I don't think anyone really knows what to call 
before New Game Plus. I just call it first playthrough. What do you guys call it? That's a that's a good thing I can say. I'll ask a question of the day every single one of these videos. Let me pop a life gem really fast. Um, <clears throat> if I get invaded, if I get invaded, that also counts as PvP. So if I get invaded before I actually get to a bonfire or something and I win, that counts and I don't have to invade anyone. That's another way this is different from Sunlight Blade's thing. I'm pretty sure he had to invade. Oh yeah, and I killed Pate, so his sign isn't going to be here. I'm going to imbue myself with dark. Alright, I didn't mean to do that. But whatever. The cutscene. I'm going to show the cutscenes too. pull out my bow when I don't mean to. That's what I use in PvE, by the way, guys. During PvP, I usually have a parrying dagger, but in PvE, I always have a bow. Because I don't need a parrying dagger to parry in PvE. It's really easy. Alright. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna recover my stamina. Alright. I'm still kind of working on my PvP build, by the way, guys. So, it's not entirely finished yet, as you may have seen in the PvP video I made with my friend. The stuff wasn't entirely upgraded, and I wasn't fully leveled up to the point where I wanted to be. Which I am now fully leveled, but I'm, my gear is still not upgraded completely. So, yeah. I'm gonna go kill the pursuer now. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm on New Game Plus right now. I it took me like 20 minutes to get here. I did so bad. All right, let's go up here now. And something some people might not know: there's actually an enemy on this other elevator. Like you can see him right there. There's actually an enemy there. I'm pretty sure I missed this crystal lizard here, so I'm going to try to get him this time with fire arrows. Aww. Crap. Okay, I guess not. I almost forgot about you guys. That's like my favorite combo. I love doing R1, R1, R2, R2, even though I'm on Xbox. I still refer to it as PlayStation controls. Because I think it's easier. Alright, life gem. I'm not necessarily trying to conserve my Estus flasks, but if I'm missing hardly any health like that, I'm just going to heal up with a life gem. And I have my uh, TV turned down. So that my mother doesn't freak out. <laughs> I'm kidding, she's cool. But like, earlier she told me to turn my TV down because I was watching YouTube on my Xbox and it was really loud. So I currently have my TV turned down. Also, you guys can hear me a bit better, I'm sure. I'm sure that's nice for you guys or your ears might be bleeding. I don't know. <laughs> so, the Pursuer. I hate this boss. I had so much trouble with it on my first playthrough. Not my first playthrough, with this character. My first playthrough with this character. Um, anything new up here? Oh yes, there is an item here. Large Soul of Proud Knight and Old Radiant Life Gem. 
Oh, what the heck? I knew it, too. I knew it. I called that crap. I'm gonna parry this guy. Boom. Dead. That scared me, though. <laughs> do I have, like, a radiant life gem? I do. Because that won't heal it all the way. Alright. Let's get ready to fight this guy. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be doing. Uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna be doing a. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some videos with Phrase Up, good friend of mine, and go check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Check it out. Check him out. He's really awesome. So far, he doesn't have very much videos. Only a few Dragon Age Inquisition videos. I think it's like two or three. So yeah, go check out Phrase Up. I'm gonna be doing a few videos with him pretty soon. Okay. I know I can parry him, but it almost killed me on regular game, and I'd hate to see what it does on New Game Plus when I failed, because I suck at parrying this guy. Oh, that shield bash. All right. Let's do this, Pursuer. I always thought the Pursuer was a really cool boss, but, like, he's just difficult sometimes. He just doesn't want to work with me for some reason. What does dark damage do to him? Does pretty, does pretty good. That curse blade. I don't want to do that. Uh, hiccup. Alright. Don't want to get hit by his shield bash. Don't want to get hit by him in general. And dodge. And this boss fight might take a little while. Dodge that curse blade of his. I know you can get his sword, but I haven't really messed around with it. I wonder if you can use, like, that curse blade attack thing and, like, use it as a weapon. <laughs> Just curse people in PvP. Go into the arena. Any of you guys who have messed around with the Pursuer's Greatsword, let me know. I know it's called the Pursuer's Greatsword, but I haven't really seen much gameplay with it. I've really only seen someone golf swing a hacker off a cliff before with it so take advantage of his failure of a shield bash to heal ooh his turtle stabs he got me with the turtle stabs like the uh, second time you really encounter him in the uh After the smelter demon. He got me with those thrust attacks about four times before I actually killed him. Just stun locked me. Oh! Okay. Heal up. Let's do this. Boom. Dead. Soul of a Pursuer and Ring of Blades. I'm going to be collecting as many items as I can. And, by the way, guys, I always thought this is a pretty awesome view right here. Almost makes you want to praise the sun. <laughs> so
Sorry if that blinded you guys. <coughs> Alright. And I'm going to get as many items as I can just for the purpose of selling them to Govlon so I can be able to buy materials to improve my equipment some more. And the Drang Lake stuff. Now, the Drang Lake shield is actually really good. Like, it's a really good shield for being able to get it in the very first area. Um, very good shield. Because, like, I went through the whole game with that until I got this shield. The, uh, Watcher shield. I went through the whole game with it without upgrading it. Because I didn't know if I would need Twinkling Titanite or not. And originally my plan wasn't even to get this shield, it was to get the Red Blossom Kite shield. But then I got this shield. Like, I got this soul and I was like, huh. I've actually seen people using this shield before, and I think it looks really cool. Like, it, look at that. It's like a skull. Look at that. It looks awesome. With my... Oh yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday. I told him a running theme for this build seems to be funny faces because of the mannequin mask with the this the watcher shield. Alright. I'm going to go into the Lost Bastille, but I'm probably not going to do any of it yet. I'm just going to go get the bonfire. And if you guys like this uh, idea of the series, definitely uh, check out, like, not check out, why did I say check out? That's not even close to what I wanted to say. Leave in the comments whether you want to see the full game up to the point where this is complete, where the series decides to end, or if you want to see just the areas that have bosses in it. Like, it, do you guys want to see all the giant memories, even though only one of them have a boss in it, or, and you can't invade in it? Or do you just want to me to just go for it myself? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Majula now and end this video. So, oh, I'll run through. I'll run you guys through what I've done while I was away on my uh, new game plus adventures. So I was curious as to see what would happen. Like what different NPCs would drop. So I killed all the fire keepers at the beginning. And they drop a pretty large amount of human effigies, by the way. Like Millibeth drops like three, and then the other one, the one you give like soul vessels to, drops like six. I killed uh this guy, Mollen. Killed him. I also bought the butterfly stuff from him because I had a ton of souls, so I just got him up to his end point and then killed him for the butterfly stuff or didn't kill him for the butterfly stuff but I bought the butterfly stuff and then killed him just cause why not right um I'm going to open up Lenagrass shop alright I'm going to rest of the bonfire see if I can improve any of my equipment. The main, really all the equipment I have to improve is my armor. Like my weapon, my shield, all that stuff's good. I am going to imbue my twin blade eventually. Once I get the uh, dull ember and give it to McDuff. Alright. Let's see, I can. I can reinforce one piece of it. And my mannequin mask is down here. Alright. What should I reinforce? I'm going to reinforce my boots. So, now I just need to improve my black leather gloves. Oh. You've got the short bow in here. Don't really need it. Need it. Don't really need it. There we go. But I'm going to buy it. Buy it. I'm going to pick it up anyways. And I'm going to buy the iron arrows he has. 
Because iron arrows are good. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with another person of your choosing. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, sexy beasts.